Catherine and today I'm going to teach you guys how to calculate heat given specific heat values, temperatures, and mass. So this is number 362 on the problem set and it states calculate the amount of heat that must be absorbed by 10 grams of ice at negative 20 degrees Celsius to convert it to liquid at 60 degrees Celsius. Given specific heat of ice is 2.1 joules per gram Celsius, specific heat of water is 4.187 joules per gram Celsius, and the heat of fusion is equal to 6.0 kilojoules per mole. So the main formula that we're going to be using here is Q, which is heat is equal to mass, M, S, specific heat, times delta T, which is temperature. So since we have uh, Q ice and it's trying to get to Q water, we have to find out the amount of heat that's happening and being absorbed through ice, water, and through its melting, which is the latent heat of melting. So the first thing that we're going to do is find the heat of water. So let's go ahead and the heat of ice first, actually. Q of ice is equal to M, which is 10 grams times S, which is 2.1 joules per gram Celsius, and the temperature, which is going to be 20 degrees Celsius. So now that you have that, that's how it should look like. And you end up getting 420 joules because grams cancels with grams and Celsius cancels with Celsius and you're left with joules. So now we have to find that the Q of water. So I hope you guys all got that down and that was kind of uh, clear to you all how I did this. So it's going to be the same thing, 10.0 grams times, now we're going to use the specific heat for water. 4.187 joules per gram Celsius and then the temperature is going to be 60 degrees since it's at the liquid phase which is water so 60 degrees Celsius so same thing Celsius cancels with Celsius grams cancels with grams and then you're going to be left with 2,512.2 joules so now we have the heat of ice and we have the heat of water and we have to find the heat at which it changes from ice to water which is called the latent heat of melting. So what we do here is the H of fusion that we have right here, we're going to use that and we're going to have the latent heat of melting for right here for delta H of fusion is equal to 334 joules. So we're going to use that and how we do it is we use the same thing except we this time we don't add the temperature. So what we do is we get Q is equal to the delta H of fusion times the mass. So that's going to be 334 joules times 10.0 grams. And from there, you'll see that we get 3,340 3, joules. And all you have to do now to find the amount of heat that must be absorbed by ice to make it liquid is add all of these values up right here. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So then if you do that, you'll get Q, which is heat, is equal to 6,272.2, which rounds off to 6,300 joules. And as you can see right here, the letter choice, oops, sorry, would be C. So I hope everything made sense. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and this was helpful. So thank you so much for watching, guys.